Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, episode 35 of the WebGL series. Today we're going to be looking at translating an object in two-dimensional space through GLSL shaders. Uh, just a quick reminder, we're going to be using uniforms today, and they're global variables that can change for primitives, so like GL triangles, GL triangle fan, etc. And they're passed to the web application to the shaders. Um, it's going to be used in both vertex and fragment shaders, and they're read-only. Uh, we're also using attributes as coarse and varying as before. Um, the definitions here were from this tutorial, which I've linked to in the resources as well. So let's go ahead and look at our index. Everything that we have here is basically the same as previous. The main thing that we're going to do for reference is we're going to draw right away, because we're not doing any user interactions this time. And here, down in our draw function, we're just going to go ahead and throw some specific points out, some random colors, to draw a triangle. So as you can see here, it's just a triangle that's been drawn out. And everything else is pretty much the same. And now at the bottom of render buffers here, after we do our attribute uh, programmatically, we're going to go ahead and do some hard-coded translation. So right now, we're translating everything by 0, 0, 0, 0, so it's not really doing anything. Uh, we are using get uniform location and getting the uniform. This is just so we can display what that value is before and after we actually set it here. So we're setting the translation, new translation, to those four coordinates that are defined here. And we're going to right here, we're going to get it again so we can output it. So you can see here that our, our translations are zero across the board. Finally, in our vertex shader here, we're going to take in that uniform for U translation. And all we're going to do is add it to the A position that is passed in as well. So since they're both Vec4s, we can just do simple addition. And it'll know to add the first uh, piece of each vector together, the second piece, the third piece, and the fourth piece to finally set a final GL position. So that's kind of simple, basically how it works. So if we go ahead and uncomment this and we want to translate it over by 0.25, we save that and then go ahead and refresh this. You can see that the whole triangle shifted over by 0.25 to the right. And you can now see here that the uniform value, while it was zeros before, is also 0.25 across the board afterward. Uh, note that if we don't have any of this information, that we will still be able to render the application just fine, um, unlike if you're missing attributes. So it just counts these as all zeros across the board. So basically that's it for uh, translation, translating in two-dimensional space. Uh, we'll end up doing this kind of thing programmatically later, but for now this is good enough. Uh, if you like what you saw today, go ahead and subscribe, like my video, uh, share it on social media if you would, and go ahead and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.